base. Come in, base. Come in, base. Dead air, man. We gotta get down. This is too much. myself hoarse on this radio every day. It's just the weather dumps in us frequently here. And maybe my transmission doesn't get through. I don't know. I can't understand one word of what you say, Willard. It's all going swell, sir. Get the bit up. Get it out. <gasps> Turn it off. Switch it off! <laughs> I think you better come and check out site two. What about this? Blow through it. Find more meteorites. <laughs> nah, something a little younger than that. No! Billy! I don't want you to set that explosive, do you hear me? I do not want you to set that explosive! Wretched pyros. This place is a busy history. I don't want to be misrepresented by that retarded researcher you've just been with. Uh, Lara. I'm Dr. Willard. I'd come to converse with Tony myself, but I saw you were doing a rather more creditable job, I think. Indeed, I'm inspired. I'd like to offer you other work. What? Shoot the breeze with some of your other boys? No thanks. Fortunately, they were the only lab rats we let loose into the field. No. My request is for three other artifacts like this. The Infada tribe only had one artifact of this type. It's unique. Anyway, what would your interest in it be? I'll show you. It's not from India, rather an island near Antarctica. It is in fact meteorite rock that has been fashioned and used by Polynesians who were once settled there many, many years ago. See that? That's unique, an unknown material. So how did it end up here? Formed from the planets, sculpted by Polynesians, distributed by goons. Our excavations and investigations have led us to this. A sailor's diary from Charles Darwin's expedition on the HMS Beagle. August 14th, 1834. This voyage is getting too boring for me to go on with this journal. Me adventures at sea are an embarrassment. The only tales I'll have to tell are hours of bird watching. 
picking and pressing flowers, following them blasphemous ideas of the governor, Darwin. But this don't even concern me now. I just want food. Something more than vegetable broth in me. Today we five have made a pact. The only sampling we're going to be doing is for meat. Pure, solid, blood-rich meat. The snow's run out. The tracks have gone. Just keep going. We're on its trail. There's only four. None for you. Nobody better say nothing about this to the governor, else we'll be back having to hunt down that creature for his samples. Paul fell down a crevasse, okay? Okay, Stephen. Amen. Stephen was to be the only survivor of the four. When he arrived back in London, he superstitiously sold off his artifact, having seen his pals murdered or killed with theirs. One here in India, one in the South Pacific and one in Nevada. The places where I'd like you to go. Sounds good to me. 